In this tutorial, we're going to introduce a few concepts that you'll use to make more interesting and complicated apps. We'll talk about using a canvas, as well as using variables to create a drawing app that we'll call PaintPot. Okay, so now we're on to App Camp Part 2. So click on that link and download that paintpotbulldog.png file to your desktop, like I have right here. Great, after you've done that, um, click on the App Inventor homepage and go ahead and hit the Create button. And we'll create a new project, call this Paint Pot. All right, great. The first thing I wanna point out is that we have this default screen one component and everything here is, is in pretty good shape. However, notice that screen one has been on our apps thus far and it's not all that descriptive. Let's change the title and we can change that to paint pots to be something a little bit more descriptive. The other thing, the next thing I wanna do is bring out three buttons. So go ahead and drag out three buttons like so and let's rename them. Rename this first one, call that the red button. The second one, we'll rename that and call that the green button. The third button is the blue button. All right, go and select the red button again. Let's change that background color here to be red and also change the text to be red as well. That looks pretty good. Do the same thing for the other guys. The green button's background color should be green with the text being green. The blues button background color will be blue with the text saying blue. Good. Now one small problem here is that I don't want these buttons to be on top of each other, top to bottom. I really want them to be stacked in a row from left to right. So in order to do that, I'm gonna click on this layout drawer and drag out a horizontal arrangement. So you can see that's part of my components here. This is a really nice tool. However, it gets a little bit tricky unless you set the width to be fill parent. So that's the width of my horizontal arrangement. And now I can drag these buttons in here and so they'll be next to each other in the left right order like so. Great. Next, I'm gonna click on the drawing and animation and bring out a canvas. A canvas is something, you know, like you might expect, is something that you can draw on. I'm going to set the width of that canvas to be fill parent. I'm going to set the height of that canvas to be 300 pixels. That's about the right size in this case. I want the background of this canvas to initially be that file that I put on my desktop. So let's go ahead and change that background image. I'm going to go ahead and upload that file and go to the desktop and bring that in like so. Great, so you can see it's the Drake App Camp logo. Um, so that's all I really wanna do with the canvas. One small problem here is that I don't really like that canvas name, so I'm gonna rename that and call this Drawing Canvas. Excellent. One more thing is I want to add one more button on the bottom here, call this a Clear button and change the text to be clear. All right, so that's the basic look and feel for the initial Paint Pot app. Next, I'm going to connect to my phone. Click on the Blocks Editor, and we'll start writing the code to effectively implement our Paint Pot app. What I wanna do is whenever there is a mouse click on the canvas, I want it to draw a small spot there. So to implement that, I'm gonna click on the drawing canvas and find this when drawing canvas dot touched block. Notice that there are these things called arguments here. So this is going to give us the X and Y position of wherever it is touched on the canvas. So we'll use that to draw our spot. Click again on the drawing canvas and scroll down to find this called drawing canvas dot draw circle and put that in place. I want to draw a circle at that X and Y position where the user tapped. So I'll mouse over on that X to get the X, mouse over on the Y, get the Y, and for the radius, we want that to be just a number. In this case, let's click on that math drawer and pull out the zero. 
if I click on the zero, I can then use the keyboard to enter in whatever number I want to. Right now, five will work just fine. So notice, after that's been established, I can click on the canvas, right, and the dots show up. The default color, the default paint color for the canvas is black. Um, so let's change that. Let's, if we press one of these buttons, let's, can, we can change the paint color. So if I click on the red button, and when the red button is clicked, say, I'm gonna click on my drawing canvas again and find this block way down here towards the bottom, set drawing canvas dot paint color. So when the red button is clicked, I wanna set the paint color, of course, to be red. So under colors, click the red block, like so, great. So now if I click the red button and I press, I'm drawing red dots. All right, do the same sort of thing for the green button and the blue button. When the green button is clicked, I'm going to copy this block and paste it in there and change this guy to be this nice green color. And I'm also going to copy this entire block and paste that. And notice I can change this now to be the blue button. And when the blue button is clicked, I'll change that to be, say, this blue color. Good. So now, oops, make sure this blue button is clicked. Good. Make sure the green button is clicked. That all seems to work. Let's also implement this clear button. So when the clear button is clicked, I'm going to go to the drawing canvas. And I scroll down here a little bit, I can see call drawing canvas dot clear. So that's what I want to have happen there. Now when the clear button is pressed, all those dots go away. And I can draw whatever I want to again. All right, good. So drawing spots is nice. Um, you know, I could make something kind of interesting. But we also want to implement a function where I can draw and drag and draw lines on this, on this program. So exploring this drawing canvas a little bit further, Notice that if I click on drawing canvas, I see I have a when drawing canvas dot dragged. So let's use this big block. So now I've got a small problem here is that all these blocks aren't fitting on my screen. One of the things I can do to kind of save some real estate is if I right click, or if you're on a Mac, can hit down, hold on control and click, and I can collapse this block. It's still, the code is still good. The code will still run, but it just gives me a little bit more space to work with here. So I'll do the same thing for all these blocks. Great. So now I'm going to move when drawing canvas dot dragged. Notice there are several arguments here. The start X and Y position of, of the, the canvas, uh, or the, the mouse position, the previous X and Y position, the current X and Y position. We'll use the current X and Y position in this case to draw a line. So again, click on the drawing canvas here and scroll down until you find the draw line block. Here it is. Great, so I'm going to take for the X and Y positions, the previous X and the previous Y and draw a line to the current X and the current Y. So now, when I, I'll set my, red, my paint color to be red. Now, when I draw, I can draw you know, whatever I want to by dragging, holding down the, my finger or the mouse and dragging on it. You know, and also changing the colors, of course, will work as well. I can still press and make dots as well by just clicking or tapping. All right, good. So this concludes the first part of the paint pot tutorial. Next, we'll talk about how to use variables.